Guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. And this one is going to be probably a bit of a longer one, a um, little bit of a different format to a certain extent. But basically, we're taking a look at another Town Hall 9 base, talking about kind of how it's designed. And by the way, for you Town Hall 11s out there, I'm looking to do a Town Hall 11 base destruction as soon as I get the right, uh, the right bases to do it on, because I know it's been a while since I've done. Um, really much Town Hall 11 content at all, so I always do my best to show that. But f for today, we're just taking a look at a Town Hall 9, and really this base probably isn't that hard to 3-star, and it shouldn't be, to be honest. Um, I will say that it has a bit of a deceptive layout in that there's so much stuff over here. It's kind of thin. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. There's so much stuff over in that area that... The queen is pretty accessible, but you're not going to get a whole lot of extra stuff if you uh, come at the queen from this uh, this angle. That being said, the still, in my opinion, and I think this holds true as you take a look at the attacks, the best bet on this base is just coming in here, probably with a queen walk, to be honest, because there's so little point defense that... Uh, the queen can come in here, take out two air defenses, take out the queen, and really there's once you know the local point defense goes down, there's nothing really in this part of the base to target her. The nearest thing might be this expo, but it's on ground and air, so it can't uh, it can't cover as much. It probably is not going to reach her until she steps up in this direction. So really, you can do a queen walk, take out uh, two air defenses, the queen, a few extra buildings, and have your queen still be alive without having to continually invest rage spells in her because there's not going to be much point defense as soon as she gets past the queen in that first expo right there. So that's a good opener. And then even though it is a little bit hard because there's so many wizard towers and archer towers, you still can use a Laloon on the back side of this base. And that's how it was ultimately three-starred. So we will eventually see that attack, but there was actually six total attacks, meaning five fails on this base. And like you know, the town halls in the middle, along with the clan castle, that might instinctively make you think, okay, this base is kind of a an internet base. It's not the best design, but really, it is tricky. Um, just because the queen is over here, but the the uh, person who built the base specifically did not put a whole lot around the queen, so you can't get much value if you just come directly at her. But that being said, that was how the base was three-starred, and I think it's the best plan. So we will take a look at the plans, or not the plans, just the attacks of all five people, and then we'll get to the three-star after that. I'm not going to show the attack for every plan, I'll just kind of talk through it. That way the video won't be 20 minutes, or more than 20 minutes probably, and you'll also you'll be able to kind of just uh, to still see what the plan was uh, but also at the same time see how it works out in real time. So I'll just go ahead and show the replays and we'll go from there. So here's the first attack. It is Last Spartan and the opener is really good here. Uh, it, it's not how you would think he would come at this base. He actually comes at it um, from the bottom here but he still is going to do kind of a tricky maneuver with his wall breakers to be able to get in there and take out both air defenses still because the compartment he actually enters initially with his queen uh, is not the compartment that can reach that second air defense that's over at three o'clock so you can see how many wall breakers he had he actually had 13 so loading it up really trying to get deep into the space and that way he can invest in a lot of rage spells to keep his queen up and to to help out on the other part of his attack which is going to be kind of a mass baby dragon which is somewhat interesting but i think that it's just it just doesn't have what it takes to take out the rest of the base and i say that because the main thing is baby dragons don't have that same uh times two damage uh, and i think extra movement speed that they do when they're alone because if you deploy them they're typically you know if you have nine of them they're going to bunch up and they're not going to get the same value for you so they're just not tanky enough to really be able to defend themselves against air defenses so you'll see how things work out but a really slick uh, job there dropping in the giant and then some wall breakers to open up that next compartment and let the queen just step up there take out the air defense then get in there and get the expo more wall breakers under that rage will get in there and open up kind of some more compartments let the queen get a little bit deeper into the base and even get in there and get that third air defense taken out so there's another baby dragon for funneling just to keep her inside the base that first Ba or that next baby dragon should have been down a little bit earlier because the queen has already been drawn over to that side but luckily she still goes back and targets the town hall right there yeah she'll get that taken out then she'll step out for that next air defense but honestly at this point he probably 
and, and you can see that that one lava hound does pretty much nothing because there's nothing that's even being tanked for. The baby dragons are still out of range of the air defense anyway. So pretty much wasted a lava hound right there. And they're not going to do a whole lot clumped up. They just don't have enough, enough hit points. And honestly, they, they don't do that much damage uh, when they're not getting the times two bonus. So he'll drop the rage, he'll keep them moving. But that next air defense, that last one, is still left up, and that's going to be enough to take out the baby dragons. Now, he could have used a zap quake on that last air defense and just used normal dragons. That's what I would have done. Uh, he would have had to use one less rage, but that's that's fine. Or uh, maybe two less rages, actually. But I think he could have managed with the queen's ability. Or he could have used a Laloon on the rest of the base. But the baby dragons, they're going to go down to that air defense. The queen can't reach it from where she is. Um, so she'll not, she won't take it out for quite a while. Because of that, pretty much all his air troops go down. And I think the opener was so so slick. The wall breaker play with the 13 wall breakers opening the queen up to three air defenses. So much value. But just really a not very effective back end um, technique. Not very effective with the baby dragons. Doesn't take out the rest of the base. A good try, good experimentation. Let's see what the next attacker did. So here is JP. Uh, he's going to mix it up a little bit and use a ground army. Uh, so, you know, this probably could have worked against this base too, but a few mistakes in the deployment really screwed things up. Uh, right there, that one golem, you almost never want to have a situation where you have a golem just sitting there taking punishment from the CC troops. Now, there is like a wizard in that area to help with the, the balloons and stuff, but honestly, um, that golem goes down in a matter of 5-10 seconds to the CC troops, so you know, wasted quite a bit of his tanking, then has two, I think he had two wall breaker fails in a row, maybe just one, um, I'm not sure how many wall breakers he had, but he's forced to drop that jump earlier, also the boulder funneling isn't that good, maybe as a result of the wall breaker fail, but just in general not good boulder funneling, those boulders are going to walk on him for the most part, only like two go inside the base, uh, the jump spell placement is also off, they're kind of spreading out his troops, which on a stoned hobo attack, you want to keep that kill squad together so, so the tanks are the ones that are doing the tanking and your bowlers don't get targeted by defenses as they scurry off to the outside. But everything gets spread out, therefore everything kind of goes down here. The bowlers that walked around the outside are pretty much toast as soon as they get targeted. Comes in with the hogs here, but honestly, uh, did not get enough of the base taken out for the hogs to be able to do much. They will get in here, take out some of these defenses, but that... Kind of the 12 o'clock area will not go down. Drops that heal, uh, but the queen's pretty low. She'll get targeted by that cannon right there and go down. And from there, uh, things just peter out. He had a bunch of cleanup wizards left over. I think too many. I don't know why he brought so many wizards. Uh, maybe that he didn't quite deploy them as he thought he would, but he had like six left over. So never a good uh, situation when you see that happening. But yeah, those last few hogs go down. We'll fast forward to the end here. Um, hopefully I don't get too many group me notifications. I forgot to turn those off. Actually, I turned off my notifications and then uh, the people I'm in the group with got mad at me because I wasn't responding to stuff because uh, it's for like a school thing. Um, and so I turned them back on, but now I'm now I'm having this happen during the video. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut away to the next attack. I kind of spaced out for a second. We will cut away to the next attack of the third attacker to take on this base. So once again, we have a baby dragon a mass baby dragon attack, and I'm not sure why Anthony went for this. I didn't see too many differences between this plan and uh, I might turn off my notifications after this attack. I didn't see too much too too much of a difference between this plan and the the uh, the first plan that used baby dragons because the same opener with the queen. Um, now maybe he had ideas of how he was going to change things up to get the three star, but whatever it was, it didn't it didn't quite pan out how it should have. Uh, but pretty much the same opener. Things go fine for the most part. Drops down the poison, has the rage for the queen. Almost a little bit late, but gets it down just in time to keep that queen up. Um, so she's going to move deeper into the base. Now one of the problems is that he has kind of a not really a wall breaker fail, just the wall breakers don't do the right, they don't target the right building. I, I'm not exactly sure the, the difference between his deployment and the first deployment, but whatever it was, the wall breakers target the wrong wall, and uh, maybe they just didn't target, they didn't break it open. Uh, yeah, they, they, they didn't get it open one way or another, so the queen is going to be cut off from that next air defense. She, I think she will ultimately be able to... Uh, shoot her way through the wall, but that takes up more time and that kind of screws up the pathing, makes him have to use more spells on her. I think that might have been a miss tap on the, maybe not, I don't know about that rage. 
but it was kind of a weird place to drop it just right on the queen uh oh my goodness i'm i, I want to get through this attack but hopefully i don't have too much going on in the notifications and i know i should be turning these off but like i said guys uh like People were kind of pissed off that I wasn't responding, and maybe I should just remember to turn them off before I record and turn them back on, but I never seem to be able to remember to do that, so you guys probably don't care. Let's just get back to the attack. Um, so drops in those baby dragons, keeps the queen inside the base, so she's still getting pretty similar value even though there was a few speed bumps along the way. The giant bombs go off right there, which I never drew in at the beginning, but uh, they're not, there aren't many ground attacks, so not that important, I guess. Comes in with the next, or that Lava Hound once again. I do not know why people use that Lava Hound because all it does is go out in front and get destroyed by all those um, defenses. The only time you would use a Lava Hound with dragons, whether they're baby dragons or regular dragons, is when they're in range of the air defense. But if you drop the Lava Hound too early, all it, all it does is get... Uh, it dies for no reason because the, the air defense wouldn't be targeting the dragons otherwise because they're not yet in range. So maybe a little bit early on the Lava Hound. Um, I just don't like the baby dragons, to be honest. They're just not a good troop in large numbers. And I think that's pretty much been proven by these first uh, few attacks that tried them out. Now, nothing wrong with, I mean, trying out new troops. And I think this war wasn't the closest war. So maybe people are trying to experiment to a certain extent. But as far as just trying to three-star this base, not going to be your best bet. Uh, so we'll fast forward to the end here. Nice try to Anthony. I will turn off my notifications and then I will be right back with the next attack on this base. So here is the next attack by Ali. And he is mixing it up a little bit with a bit of a different plan here, but also doesn't work out. And we'll talk about why, because I think the, the reason is pretty clear. Things would just spread out too wide here. And you never want the queen targeting a golem while you're creating your funnel, because the queen does so much more damage than like a regular point defense building that that one golem on the, on the top right there, on the top right side, already gets busted. The wizards already die. It seems like all he did was create a funnel and take out maybe a few defenses, like one or two, for the price of two golems and like all his wizards. Because all he has left is his heroes when he enters the base. So the, the king pops the ability, but really he's getting the bare minimum taken out. And when you're investing, you know, two golems, quite a few wizards, um, the jump spell, your heroes, you're investing quite a bit to this base. Um, all, if all you get is basically the two air defenses and the queen and pretty much nothing else, you're not going to be able to three-star the base because even though, you know, people say if you can trade that two golem kill squad for two air defenses and the queen, you'll have the three-star. Not always, and that's not that accurate because if you're not getting wizard towers, test those archer towers taken out, if you're not getting deeper into the base and taking out <clears throat> extra defenses, your Laloon attack is going to be spread very thin over the rest of the base, especially with how this guy... Um, stacked all his def you know air targeting defenses on the opposite side of the base a lava hound deployment was kind of off as well you can see those air defenses aren't even going down because they're actually pretty deep in the base no air defense is that close to the to the top left there so really kind of was too late on his kill squad by the time his king and queen entered the base the golems had already been uh, broken up the wizards had already died you needed to move in quicker with probably a smaller entry point instead of spreading things so wide because when you spread your troops very wide they take damage from many much from a lot more defenses so you got to probably keep your troops closer together that way they're not taking as much damage and try to go in the base with at least one golem at pretty much full health so nice try let's move on we have two more attacks, one more fail, and then we'll get to the, th to the three star. So here is the last fail by Fahim, and it's a ground attack. I guess he's just tired of all this craziness with the air attacks. Goes to some Valks, and I think this was another good opener. Um, drops down some wizards just to create some funnels and stuff, but this was a good opener, and I think this is the opener that's used to get the three star, so he at least added something to the development of the three star in this base. Drops down the queen, lets her kind of walk into the base here, take out um, the defensive queen, the expo. The air defenses obviously don't matter really for this base. He only brought like three balloons, so not using many air troops at all. But gets, you know, some good ground defenses taken out, gets the queen taken out, goes ahead and uses the wall breakers to, I think he actually does open up the, or no he doesn't, but he at least lets the queen out of the out of the base uh, right there drops in two more wall breakers and the giant I think I think that was the giant that actually ended up opening up the wall but 
he basically he was able to uh, get the wall open so the queen will be able to enter the base at the bottom that also protects the healers because if the queen can't enter that compartment and she has to go back outside the base those healers will most, most likely go down to the air defense uh, based on the angle she's traveling so gets pretty good value with the queen taking out about a third of the base by the time she's done comes in with the valks and the king and really guys Something I've seen way too much lately is people just kind of throwing the Valks at one side of the base in kind of a random fashion. You still got to funnel your Valks. You still got to have a plan for them as to what compartment they'll go into. You can't just kind of face roll them on the side of the, the base because right here the Valks are kind of spread out. A few are on that wall right there and it's just kind of unorganized. Like nothing's really going in any plan. They're kind of going uh, from side to side targeting random buildings. He needed a plan. Probably a jump spell would have helped too to keep them moving quicker. Uh, right there, the giant bomb goes off. There's so much damage in that area as well. Because they can't actually access many of those defenses, uh, they're taking a lot of damage without getting much value. The queen is doing great, and a few hogs are being sprinkled in to take out defenses. But those Valks are just isolated from the rest of the base. He should have probably deployed them at a different location, had more of a plan for them. Uh, as far as where they're going to go into the base and how they're going to take out the Teslas, all the bunched up defenses that are on that side of the base because kind of a random deployment, just kind of sp spreading all those Valks out on the side of the screen, hoping for the best. So nothing away from Fahim, um, probably was a good plan and the Queen Walk was definitely very nice and set up the three star, which we'll see in just a moment as soon as we fast forward uh, the ultimate three star on this base using Fahim's Queen Walk. So we're finally here. Uh, this is the composition that was used. Pretty simple stuff, and I I think that if some of the first attackers that use Baby Dragons, even doing a slightly different Queen Walk where they started at 6 o'clock and worked their way up, um, that didn't matter. I think either way, as long as the Queen Walk gets two air defenses in the Queen, this could have been a 3-star on the first attack or the third attack, which also used the uh, Queen Walk but used Baby Dragons instead. I think if those attackers had used a uh, Laloon on the other side of the base, they would have been much more successful. So right there, the queen comes in. Unfortunately, one healer does go down to an air defense, but I think he actually brought four healers. I'm not sure I missed it at the beginning, but either way, his queen will still be able to survive even down one healer. Has the poison for the CC troops. Uh, everything's moving forward. The queen will take out the CC troops with her ability. And then right here, as soon as that archer tower goes down, or I guess it actually doesn't go down because you can't reach it, but right here, there's not much point defense in the area. Everything's on the other side of the base. Because of that, he doesn't have to invest more spells in his queen. She will stay up for pretty much the entire attack without needing more spells. The healers alone are, are going to be able to keep her up, which is important on these attacks because the queen's great for cleanup and great for taking out more defenses to kind of assist the balloons as they make their way through. So has all the spells which he uses on his balloons at the beginning to keep them moving. That one air defense is so deep in the base, he wants to get his balloons in there as quickly as possible. That way it doesn't do too much damage to his lava hounds. Coming in with balloons on pretty much every defense, he can target most defenses directly. And another great thing is that the queen is going to step up and help with that air defense as soon as the CC goes down. The king wasn't really even used, just drops him on the back side of the base to tank for like one archer tower and take out some trash. But the queen gets up there and gets that third air defense taken out. And one of the great things is that he got the Laloon deployment going in time. That way there's enough time to get the three star to clean up the rest of the base. He didn't wait for his queen to get in there and try to take out that third air defense. Um, sometimes you kind of just have to let the queen uh, take it out as the balloons make their way through and just kind of have the timing work out because you are at a limited amount of time and if you wait too long uh, you could overpower the base but not do it in enough time and have like a few storages left up at the end so it has plenty of time on this base uh, everything cleans up here the king also helps a lot with cleanup gets the three star awesome attack to turtle power finally taking out this base uh, so hope you guys like this video this base probably didn't seem as tough as we made it look like uh, not the best attacks by some of our members but yeah that's that's how things work out sometimes and you know it's nice to see the progression of attacks leading up to the th three star so let me know if you like this video and like i said at the beginning i'll look to do some more town hall 11 content as soon as i get the right attacks to do so um also some probably some base building stuff coming up soon so look forward to that and i'll see you guys later bye sectatron out